Welcome back to the channel again. That's literally the same thing I said just a few days ago. Right? Well, let's get started on the basics of chess, because it takes absolutely way too long to learn chess. The basics of chess. Yeah, let's just log in real quick. Log into your profile. Uh, if you didn't hear this before, you need to log in if you want access to everything. Or you can upgrade. Uh, there's a lot of things in chess.com. You can play games with real life people, things like all that. There are daily games, which is what I'm on right now. But the thing is, what is the true thing you need to start in from chess? What is it? Something you absolutely need to start on when you are on chess is, uh, let's guess, the material value of pieces. Because, say, when you're playing a game, it's going to write plus two, plus three on your side or their side. And, if you didn't know, that's your material value currently. What your material value is, let's just go to analysis. When you go to analysis, you can easily see what I mean. You're supposed to press setup position. You can see all the pieces in the whole wide world. If I put a king here, but that's what you're supposed to do. A king over here. Then, I can do a rook here and a queen here. And it's saying plus four up here. Right here, plus four. Because the queen is higher than the rook. And this is the analysis bar, which shows you stuff. So, while I'm playing the game, it's a drawing position. Because since we're in the very start of the game, nothing's changing. Let's put on the both kings here. A pawn. A pawn is worth a one. It's just plus one. You can see it on the bottom of my screen because I'm white. If I give him a pawn, it's equal equal. If I give him two pawns, he's plus two. Black is plus two. If I give myself three pawns then i am plus one all of the pieces here all of the pieces have a value pawns are one but they're valuable next is the knights a knight is worth three points when you have a knight it's actually pretty good because Knights can leap over squares. It can do anything in the world that you want. It never makes a mistake. It's your very handy knight. And it can jump all, all the way over here. Wow. Whites are worth... Knights are worth three points. Bishops are also worth three points. But bishops are more valuable. Like half. Because they can go... In diagonals, while knights can go like L. That's why everyone always gives their bishops instead of their knights. The next piece is the amazing rook. The rook is worth five points. So. If I were to remove these pieces out of existence. Wow. Um, you can see it says plus five on the top of my screen. If I remove this guy, like, hi, how you doing? It's like zero. But the queen is the most valuable of all. When you have your queen... You are simply God. You can literally checkmate anyone easily. 
the queen is worth nine points. So nine is a very valuable number. But, oh no, where'd the white king go? The white king, or the black king, is worth the whole game. Because without one of the kings, their color already lost. So, wow, Kush, how many points are on the board when you start? One times eight for the pawns. That would be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then, you could mark two fives, because both the rooks are five. Two sixes, and through four sixes, no, actually two sixes, now it's, now it's two sixes, plus nine. That is some pretty easy calculation. Eight plus ten, eighteen, plus twelve, that's just like, easy, thirty, thirty-nine. Wow. Did I do wrong math? Well, that's all of the material position thingy majings. And that's all you had to start with. Because if you don't know your material, you could go sacrificing a queen for a pawn. Which is absolutely not what you want. Um, Wee. Yep, that's what I meant. It it just leaped over upon. Well, that's the end for today. Goodbye.